welcome back to another episode of Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator. Welcome back! Taylor and Rick here, as always. Uh, if you don't remember from when we last left off, uh, we're kind of mad. <clears throat> oh, God. Kind of mad at our daughter because she went out, came home late, and didn't answer any of our texts. Is probably high, possibly pregnant. Just so many possibilities. Let's yes. find out what she was doing right now. She pulls her phone out of her pocket. Oh, whoops. Guess I didn't see those. Rebellious teenager. She starts to walk to her room. Amanda Ann. Ooh. Whoa, we're pulling out the middle name now? Amanda, you came home an hour and a half after your curfew and you didn't respond to any of my texts. You really freaked me out. I was about to call the cops. Dad, you're seriously overreacting. You're not going to be like this when I go off to school, are you? Ooh. I don't like your fucking attitude, Amanda. I mean, she's not really copping an attitude, though. Like, if I was 18 and my parents did that, I'd... Is she 18? Yeah. Oh. Well... well 17, 18. She's a high school senior. Yeah. You have a right to be concerned. I, I agree. I think I was scared. It's kind of like the wuss excuse. Yeah, don't be a fucking pussy. I'm not, I'm not Go for the middle ground here. You're my only daughter... Oh, God, my dad used to say that to me all the time. Ugh. Well, I can't give you a play-by-play -play of everything I do all the time. I'm 18. You shouldn't even be giving me a curfew in the first place. Sorry, I shot a look to Rick. <laughs> I sit down on the couch and put my head in my hands. I feel very tired all of a sudden. Oh, oh, I just looked at her face. What, your character did? I just looked at her face on the screen. Uh, hey. Bitch, don't be looking at your father that way. I mean, will, I will ground you. <laughs> do it. Ground her into beef. You really scared me. Just please don't do that again. Dot, dot, dot. All right. I'm going to go to bed now. Because she's drunk. And pregnant. Amanda closes the door to her room and I head to mine. Jeez. As I'm falling asleep, one thing she said keeps echoing in my mind. You're not going to be like this when I go off to school, are you? Hmm. I definitely didn't sleep well last night. I brew some strong coffee and make some scrambled eggs for Amanda as a peace offering. She eventually wanders into the kitchen. Ah, the olive branch. Hey. I thought about what you said last night. I should have texted you. I said I was going to do it and I didn't. I honestly just didn't even think about it. I'm really sorry, Pops. I won't do it again. Well... Hmm, I trust you to make good choices? Yep. Or do you want to be like, good? Oh, God, no. Oh, I, I wouldn't. No. I also thought about it, and I'll try to give you your space from here on out. I gotta trust that you can take care of yourself. Team Mom? Team Mom. <laughs> Amanda gives me a hug. Want some eggs? You know it. Fertilized like mine are. Mm. How do you like your eggs? Fried or fertilized? <laughs> Fried. If that's the only choice I have. Already did. Bless you. Amanda scarfs down the eggs and the time it takes me to wash the pan. All right, I'm off to school. Smell you later. Wait, one more thing before you go. What? What's dad book? It's a social media platform. Wait. What? What's a social media platform? Dad, I have to go to school. Come on, Amanda. I'm an old man. I can't put together a dad book profile on my own. All right. I'll help you sound interesting on the internet. Amanda spends the next couple minutes setting up my profile on Dadbook, which, as it turns out, is a place where dads can get together and talk about fatherhood. All right, pups. We gotta fill out your profile. Let's get some likes and dislikes. But the other dads already told you this. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh. ooh. Do you get to type it in? Ah! On a Friday night, you are most likely to... Oh. Oh, no. Uh, polish and sort my coin collection. Netflix and grill, baby. Fall asleep watching the History Channel. Torment my children with dad puns, sink into blissful oblivion. So, if this was my dad's dad book, it would be fall asleep watching the history. Channel. If it was your dad's dad book, it would be any night fall asleep watching the history channel. Yes. 
Um, if it was my dad's dad book, it'd probably... Actually, my dad owns a bed and breakfast. It would probably be Netflix and Grill. Yeah. But if he if it was before he bought the bed and breakfast, it would be fall asleep watching the History Channel. <laughs> it seems like uh, that age range is so. what you do. There we go. If it, you had one thing to take with you... On a desert island, what would it be? Th- thank you for whispering creepily into the mic. No problem. My trusty grill. The lost shaker of salt. That would be my dad. Cast of... <laughs> Cast away on DVD for instructional purposes. A boat, obviously. And I don't need anything. My survival skills have trained me for this day. Well, Castaway would be an awful choice. Awful uh, choice. Because what the fuck are you going to play it on? Right, for reals. Um, Desert Island. Desert <sighs> Island. Well, I mean, a boat would be a great choice. A boat would be a great choice, but you can't really carry a boat in your pocket. You know, like, God forbid, plane crash or something. Uh, I'm not sure what I would say. Grill, you can make a fucking grill out of anything. That's true. Let's go with salt. Because if you're going to be eating seafood salt would be good. all the time, you're going to need to season that shit. Yeah. Season. Because my survival skills have not trained me for this day. <laughs> Ooh, what are your turns? Ooh. Let's go there. Ooh, I do like strong arms. <laughs> Tennis shoes with long... Eh, no! A well manicured lawn. Street smarts. Comfortable with crying. Oh my god, I didn't even get to that. You just ruined it for me. Sorry. I'm gonna say strong dad arms. There you go. What did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be a pediatrician when I was younger. Oh my god, that's so cute. Yeah. Oh. You already know what I wanted to be. A pro skater who was also an astronaut? Yes. Uh, President of space. No, a paleontologist. I was just reading the things. I know. Okay. You put out your childhood dream. I decided I should probably put out mine. Ooh, tit for tat, huh? Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, salty boat captain. I love it. That's but a good one. I'm probably going to go with the character's personality to date. Okay. A good father. Lame. What's your favorite movie genre? Laser disc. I do love old comedies that haven't aged well. <laughs> like what? Give me one. Um, Complete History of the World, Volume 1. Never heard of it, but okay. Mel Brooks. Uh, it's, it's good. Most of his films have aged well, though. Nah. I haven't seen it in a long time. Well, I've never seen it, so I have no oh. frame of reference. <laughs> Ideal date. Napping together. Thousand piece puzzle. Healthy dinner at 4 p.m. Are we 70? I like uh, the one. Arson? Yep. <laughs> That's a good one. I don't know what napping well, let's together. Let's go set some shit on fire. I don't know what napping together. What do you never leave home with? My sick. Oh my god, uh, it's you! Vape nation. Oh my god. <laughs> vape nation. My cripplingly low self esteem. That's me. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with. I, that last one is you too. That I have forgotten my keys, wallet, and phone on separate occasions once each. Mm, I'll let you believe that. But, bitch, what? Just play the game. I don't know with a cool knife. I'm not going to play the game. I'm going to stare at you angrily. I spend a lot of time thinking about... My crippling anxiety. <laughs> Conspiracy theories. How proud am I with y'all? Oh, that's, that's that, Dad. If <laughs> when I can next get a cup oh, of coffee. There it is. That's a good one. That's me. Profile complete. See? That wasn't so bad. Uh, I yeah. wish we had a camera on that. <laughs> what you just did was fucking beautiful and majestic. <laughs> oh my god. You looked like a fucking wild animal performing a mating ritual. <laughs> did, did you like that? That was crazy. <laughs> she I have to I have to describe this. She turned her head from the mic, raised it as far as she could. And, like, proudly <laughs> belted out this fucking belch. 
without a second thought. <laughs> what? It was awesome. Anyone who knows me in person knows I have no shame when it comes to burping. It was great. <laughs> I just had to stop for a second with that. Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. I could totally spend all day on here just looking at people's profiles. And with that, we're just about out of time. That was a good note to end it on, I think. Oh, God. So we're going to see how Dad Book works for us while Amanda's off at school in the next episode. See y'all there. Bye. Bye.